fundraising family, I'm Chrissy. And I'm Eric. And today we're going to give you a 60 second tip about pinpointing your people. Pinpoint your people. Starting after the music. Yeah. Most one dimensional fundraisers struggle to reach their goals because they forget to identify or pinpoint their people first. So if like as an example, if you're a PTA or PTO, your main people are the students, the teachers, the faculty, the staff, and your parents. But don't forget, they all have Facebook, social media, Instagram, so it's not just them, it's everybody they know and everybody they know as well. So your people that you're pinpointing is a plethora. We've put together a few quick questions to help you identify who your assets are and who should help you collect more shoes. For example, when you're getting started, you want to identify all the kids in the group, team or club, and find out who their parents are, who runs the club, and then go from there. Yeah, you can even have the parents reach out to their employers or their employees and have them be a part of the shoe drive too. What about local businesses? Have you reached out to any local restaurants, office supply stores, furniture stores? Have you reached out to them to see if they can help you with your collection? Identify and connect with as many people as you can to make sure you're going to be successful. And one of those people should be your shoe drive coach because people you may not have thought of, they will help you think of. That's their job. We hope these questions helped you identify who your assets are and pinpoint your people. My name's Christy. My name's Eric. And we'll see you guys next time. Join us every week and like, share, and subscribe. Bye! Wheelhouse. Roadhouse! Roadhouse. Roadhouse. <laughs> people in your... She lost it. It's gone. In your... In your... That's good. Alright. Roadhouse! <laughs> That's good. Have some good bloopers. <laughs>